there is a very big uproar as Nigerian army erroneously bombs 150 Kaduna villagers. And from the reports, they deleted all of them. Very tragic indeed. So there was widespread anger across the country following the accidental bombing of Tudunbiri village in a Gabi local government area of Kaduna State by the Nigerian army, which happened actually on Sunday, leading to the death of several uh, villages. The residents were celebrating Malud, an Islamic event, when the bombs uh, started dropping on them. And the military mistook them for, you know, the bandits and all those um, people roaming there and causing problems. So the development have triggered widespread condemnation from both local and international communities now. And a statement from Ghana State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel R1, has confirmed that the army claimed responsibility for the airstrike. So the question is, what happened? Why did they make such a huge mistake? What is their reason? And when was the last time that the army actually killed such a large number of um, bandits or Boko Haram or whatever? But in this case, in a village. Although the National Emergency Agency, they said that so far that the total has risen to 85. But our Senator Shehu Sani, who was the first person to raise the alarm about the incident, stated that the airstrike killed about 150 persons. In a post in his official ex-handle, the chieftain described the unfortunate incident as tragic, horrific, and condemnable act. He actually wrote that a call to the Kaduna village where bombs were dropped on religious worshippers reported that over 150 people were killed. A tragic, horrific, and condemnable act. These bombs should be dropped on terrorists and not civilians. Although a chieftain of the APC, Femi Fane Kayode, on Monday night, took to his ex hand also to demand the justice for the victims. He wrote, 150 innocent civilians, including women and children, bombed to death by their own army in Kaduna today. This is horrendous. It's mass murder and genocide, and those behind it must be brought to justice. It didn't end there. Also reacting in, you remember Bashir Ahmed, the former media aide to the immediate past president, Mohammed Buhari, he questioned how the army would kill 126 innocent souls by mistake. On his ex-account, Bashir wrote, Haba, you can't kill 126 innocent souls. A 126 civilians and just call it a mistake. I can't even remember a time when the troops killed such a number of terrorists anywhere in this country at once. Honestly, I agree with Bashir on this one. I can't also recall any time Nigeria I mean, has eliminated such a number of terrorists in one go. You will see that three figures are being bandied here. National Emergency Agency have confirmed 85 uh, Senator Sani is saying that he's 150. Bashir Ahmed quoted 126. In between these figures, there must be the truth. But even if we take the lowest one, 85, it is still far too much. Things like these are not supposed to happen. And now the question is, why did it happen? What was the mistake of the military? How could they make such a mistake? Now, you know, Nigeria, with the situation of things, there's going to be a lot of controversy on this. Conspiracy theories will emerge because, first of all, it happened in Kaduna, a state that has been embroidered in this kind of 
fight, attacks and counter attacks, killings upon killings. The bandits are operating, the so called headsmen are, are active there. Many people have been slaughtered in that place. Considering Southern Kaduna, Northern Kaduna, the religious combination of the place. Now, it happened in the same Kaduna again, and this time in a religious festival. So it has already created room for a lot of suspicion, controversy, and of course, conspiracy theories. And somebody is saying already to me, there is more to that story because I don't understand how train security operatives will go to a state where human beings occupy and just drop a bomb. And you cannot blame this person. The most annoying part is that they were not ready to own up. If not for the cardinal government that exposed them, they had already denied it. People are meant to protect you, now kill you because of negligence. So, you know, in Nigeria, when it happens, the army will deny it flat out. And maybe after some time, they come up with some kind of excuses and the rest of them. So what else is happening about this? President Tinubu have ordered investigation into that bombing and directed that an immediate investigation into the accidental bombing of Tudumbiri in Gabi local government area of state uh, of uh, Kaduna State by Nigerian army on Sunday, which led to the death of so many village villagers should be investigated immediately. So that one is now in process. He also sent his sympathy to the families of those who were bereaved during that. Then again, the Speaker House of Representatives, Abbas Tajuddin, has expressed also concern over the clean of some villagers of Tudumbiri community in the Gabiloku government area of Kaduna State by that bombing. He said that the, uh, the incident was said to have occurred when hundreds of residents in the area gathered for the annual Malu celebration on Sunday night. In a statement on Monday, the Cardinal State Government itself said that Nigerian army have claimed responsibility. And now, let's hear what the army said. And the army finally gave a clarification saying that the bomb attack on Kaduna community uh, was actually carried out by them. They said that the drone attack on Ligama community in a local government area of Kaduna State on Sunday was based on information about untoward activities of terrorists in the area. This was contained in a statement by the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, on Tuesday. That's today. Buba said the Nigeria Army unmanned area vehicle, UAV, what you call drone. Detachment had at about 22 hours on Sunday observed the movement of terrorists at Ligama, known to be a terrorist infested area of Kaduna State. He said the area surveillance captured the movement of the groups of persons synonymous with the terrorist tactics and modus operandi. He explained that the observed advance of these terrorists that was gathered posed a threat to key infrastructure within reach of their activities. So, definitely, the army said, we do need, we went out, we saw unusual movement, which is parallel to what these terrorists usually do, and that's why we struck. Now, that the deed has been done, it is very important that a proper investigation be done so that those who suffered this loss will be uh, uh, will at least rest in peace and the families get proper justice. Thank you for watching the video. Please like it, share it among your friends and contacts, and then subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.